on to today's KNN News. Thank you for joining us. My name is Nicole and I'll be your news anchor for today. As for our news of the day, convicted of sodomy, Malaysia opposition leader Anwar Ibrahim arrived on the Sungai Buloh prison where he is sentenced to serve five years. Ibrahim denied the charge that led to his second conviction for sodomizing, saying it was political motivated. However, the government denied any role of interference in the case. The US said it was deeply disappointed with the conviction. The court found the 67-year-old former Deputy Prime Minister guilty last March of sodomizing his former political aide, Saifo. His failed appeal effectively spelled the end of his political career. The conviction disqualifies him from political offer and contesting the next election must be held by 2018. The High Court had in 2012 acquitted Anwar of the 2008 sodomy charge, oh, but the court prepared. ruled on March 7 last year that the trial judge had mistaken when rejecting the DNA evidence produced in the case. Anwar, the current PKR leader, will lose his Permatan Power parliamentary seat. Thank you, Nicole, for that report. I'm Tristan Good, and let's hit it off with some sports. Brought to you by KNN News. For our first news, let's start, let's start off with some cricket. In the 2015 World Cup at the Hagley Over, South Africa should put up a show to prove who dominates the match against Sri Lanka. With the help of South Africa's star player Hashim Amla and Quinton de Kock, the team managed to draw their first blood by scoring a 55 ball with 6 fours and 2 sixes. Well done South Africa, well done. Moving on to football. According to the Express, the newly self-proclaimed hottest shot stopper in Europe returned with three successful seasons on the loan with Atletico Madrid. This man is none other than Thibaut Courtois. As well as collecting a host of trophies during his time in the Spanish capital, he has firmly established himself as the country's first choice goalkeeper, with the 22-year-old collecting 27 senior caps so far. Speaking of setting the bar, it is a proud day for the Malaysians as their squash queen, which is none other than Datuk Nico and David, has created a new world record by marking her 106 months as the world number one in the latest February Women's Squash Association list. The, 30, the 31 year old who became world number one in January 2006 managed to overtake the 105 months set in February 1993 by New Zealand's Susan Devoy, who was world champion four times and British Open champion eight times. It is simply astonishing that she can hold the top spot for 106 consecutive months, with Nicole adding, being number one is something you have to earn every day. Well, congratulations Nicole David, and that is all for sports, and I'll pass you on to Polly Pang for a daily dose of entertainment news. This is Tristan Boon, signing off. Thank you Tristan on the report for sports. I am Polly, let's start on the entertainment. Justin Bieber is officially the new face, or should we say the new body for Calvin Klein. Justin is kicking off 2015 in his underwear. The 20 years old pop star teased his new Calvin Klein modeling gig on social media, sharing racy photos from the upcoming campaign, some of which show Bieber in nothing but tight white boxer brief with his washboard apps on full display. Justin flex and show off his tattoos, as he stripped down to just his underwear for the campaign, which was shot in NYC. If you take one glance at the photos, it is clear that they drew inspiration from Marky Mark and Kate Moss' iconic shoot from 1992. Justin confirmed the news on his social media channels following the very sexy release of a teaser video on the Calvin Klein Instagram page. Although you can't see Justin's face in the short teaser, you were totally able to tell that it was him as he sat with his back to the camera playing the drums, wearing nothing more than the brand's signature denim. Bieber shared his excitement on Instagram, posting a picture from the photo shoot, writing officially a part of the legacy. Check out Calvin Klein for more. Hashtag my Calvin's, hashtag new face of Calvin Klein. The pop star seems to view this campaign as an opportunity to redeem his somewhat, somewhat tarnished public image as he posted another Instagram picture with fellow female Calvin Klein model, Lara Stone captioned with hashtags 
reading. Hashtag learn from your thoughts. Hashtag be all you can be. Hashtag rise to success. Justin stated that he is very excited and honored to become a part of the Calvin Klein brand legacy with this campaign as CK is such an iconic brand. He has been a long time fan of the brand and have worn their jeans and underwear for a while. So, this is kind of a dream come true for Justin. Well, that's all from the entertainment news. I'm Polly Pam. See you next time. Thank you, Polly, for the entertaining news. I'm Cassie, your weather reporter for today. From Maine to Philadelphia, the northeastern of the United States has been hit by one of the worst winter storms in decades, bringing many communities to a standstill. An emergency has been declared in several states, closing schools, government agencies, and banning most vehicles on the road. The publics were told to stay home. More than 14,400 flights were grounded during the last week of January and the first week of February from two storms that snow flights across the northeastern and midwest. Extreme snowfall, hurricane force winds. It should not be taken lightly. Travel ban for the entire state. Please remain home and remain off the roads. In Massachusetts, 800 snowplow and gritters are hitting the street. Boston residents are preparing for the worst. Areas of Massachusetts, Connecticut and Long Island in New York blanketed by 20 inch of snow. This is a live shot of Boston getting hit hard with wind gusting up to more than 60 miles per hour. Thank you, Cassie, for the weather. My name is Lim Jensen, and this is a special report. On the 4th of February 2015, Taiwanese Trans Asia flight GE235 crashed into a river in Taiwan's capital, Taipei. Out of its 53 passengers and 5 crew members, it has now been confirmed that there have been 40 casualties, while 3 continue to remain missing. The commercial plane was caught by a dashboard camera gliding low to the ground as the wingtip of the plane proceeded to clip against the top of a taxi before finally plunging into the Keelung River. The black box data recorder of the French-Italian built ATR-72-600 aircraft was found just hours after the crash. According to Thomas Bank from the Taiwan Aviation Safety Council, it was mentioned that flight GE-235 had experienced a flameout. It was just that the flight was just out of the way to let the flight know that the 2-hour engine had a problem. Then we saw the 1-hour engine. The 2-hour engine didn't handle it, but the 1-hour engine was slowly removed after the door was closed. It was just out of the way. It was just out of the way. It was just out of the way. 到最后这段时间，刚才我们在 C V I 以后有听到，呃，组员在说要重新启动发动机 ，restart， 要重新启动发动机的时候，这个时候一号发动机才开始有一些其他开始的动作。到了五十四分的零九秒的时候，组员他们开始呼叫说要重新开车，啊，因为这个时候是一号发动机已经被关断了，所以他希望要重新开车。然后这时候飞机还是进入到了几次进入到了失速警告声响。然后主要的这个 mass warning 又响声响，接下去就发生了不明声响之后，就到。Besides this, another Trans Asia flight was involved in a deadly disaster back in July of last year. The crash resulted in taking the lives of 48 people, marking the second major air crash disaster for Trans Asia in just seven months. Our thoughts and prayers go out to families and friends affected by flight GE-235. Our heartfelt condolences go out to you. This is Lim Jitson from KNN News, signing out.